Wouldn't it be amazing if you had a way to automatically respond to people when they left comments on your Instagram post? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build this automation from scratch. So this AI is gonna automatically look at all your Instagram posts, wait for someone to comment, and it's gonna to respond to them accordingly. And I'm gonna show you how to build this automation step-by-step step right now. So this automation is broken up into two pieces, right? The first piece is where we watch for the post to come in on Instagram. Once the post is entered, or once the, the, you post on Instagram, then we send all of the metadata into an Airtable. When I mean the metadata, we're looking at the, the, the media ID, the media URL, look at when the actual post was made, the time, and we put a timestamp, and we throw all of that into an Airtable. Because we need this for our second piece of this automation, which is searching for the post. So uh, the, the Airtable is then gonna search for that a particular record anytime a record is updated. And then what it's gonna do at that point is, is you're gonna then search for that particular comment, that particular comment based on the post ID or the, the, the media ID that I showed you earlier. Then we could use Anthropic Claude to actually draft a message and draft a reply to that comment. And then we gotta just post the post the reply to the comment directly using what we drafted in Anthropic Claude. Okay. So this automation is very powerful and we're gonna build it right now, step by step. Hey, first and foremost, I just wanna thank you for visiting this channel and checking out this automation. I'm gonna show you how to build everything in this automation step by step. But I first wanted to say, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to like and share this um, automation if you like what you see so far. And I guarantee that you're gonna like everything that we do today, all right? So the first thing that we need to do when we build this automation is we need to watch for an Instagram post. So um, if you don't know by now, the platform that I'm using, it's called Make, um, it's make.com, where you can um, build these type of automations pretty much for free. And um, all the tools that you use on the day-to-day are built in already to um, make. So it allows you to tie in all your different applications. In this particular case, we're using Instagram, using Airtable, we're using Anthropic Claude, but you can use OpenAI, you can use a plethora of different applications. And this Make platform allows you to automate and allow all these applications to talk to each other. All right, all right so um, let's open up Instagram. And what we are doing with Instagram is we are going to watch for media. So whatever you set up, Whenever you set up an automation, the first thing you need to do is create a trigger. This is what's going to activate this automation. So what we want to do in this in case we use one to watch for a media. Okay. And whenever you um, add a module into your uh, automation, and if it's the first time you're adding a module, it's going to pop up and ask you for your credentials. I've already set that up on my account, but you would um, then want to set it up on your account as well. If you're, if you're new to me. Okay. So I connect my uh, Facebook uh, connection. Um, and then what I want to do is the page I like to use is my 247 closures page. We're going to set the limit to 1000. Hit OK. And what we can do is we can, let's just, uh, let's just run, let's just choose manual. So we could pull in, pull in, pull in the fields. And I'm just going to choose my last post. You know, oh, that's not the last, last post. And then we are going to just run it now. Run this module only. Make sure everything is working good. Good. And we can see that it pulled, it pulled in this post. And we are set. So what we're going to do is we want to, um, let's rename this. We're going to say watch posts. All right. And let's see. All right, cool. All right. Hit OK. And what we want to also do is we're going to call this um, IG automation demo one of two. This is two parts. And we are going to save. It's important that you save as you go because you don't want to lose your work. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to build Airtable. Okay. So let's uh, close this out and let's build the Airtable. Okay. So um, Airtable, uh, we are going to call this again IG, ID automation, IG commenter. We're going to call it IG comment automation and we can change it to green. Uh, and then what the first thing we want to do is with the first field that we need is we are going to need, um, the ID, make the ID, oops. And we could just single line test this fine. The next one we need, we're going to edit this field. We're going to need a uh, media URL, and we want to also have that as single line text. And the next thing we need, we edit this field, we want to call it, uh, media timestamp. Right. And this one is also single line text. And the next is what we want to do is we want to do the last modified time. So if we click down here and scroll down to last modified by, and we're going to say last modified by. Oh, last modified time is fine. 
and hit OK to save. And this is all we really need for now. All right, so let's jump back into the automation. What's this? What's that? All right, cool. So next thing we need to do is we need to bring in Airtable. Right? What we do with Airtable is we want to create a record. All right, and let's see what we're doing here. All right, so the, the base is the actual sh sheet that we need. We need to say, uh, what did I call it? Let me call it IG comment automation, right? Let's just make sure. Let's go back to Airtable, IG comment automation. Great. Oops, sorry. Uh, the table is going to be table one. And let's see the fields that we need. The media ID, we are going to pull it from watch posts. Uh, the media ID, why don't I see? Uh, the media ID, next to the media URL, and the next to the timestamp. So we can go to the timestamp here. That's a timestamp. So this timestamp is exactly when the uh, post was made. And the URL is the actual URL to the post. And the media ID is a number associated with that actual post. Okay. All right. So let's hit OK. And what we want to do actually is with the timestamp, we want to format it. Because if you notice when we created the when we created the uh, timestamp, we created it as a text field. And we want to kind of be we want to be able to copulate this later. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So what we want to do is we want to do this. So I'm going to actually redo this. We want to say look at the formulas tab, actually the time here and what we want to select is we want to select format date okay and then what we want to put here is we want to put the uh the timestamp and what we, how we want to format the date is we want to do let's see um month day year so we have two digit month two digit day and four digit four digit year but if you notice or if you go like hover over the timestamp if you look here you see how it says october 18 2024 and it gives a time but we just actually just want to have the date and we want to date it Emmett month in numbers, right? So two, two digit month, two digit date, and four digit year. All right. Cool. So let's uh save this and let's just rename this. This is best practice to rename. We're gonna call it uh add post to guarantee bowl. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this now. When we run this, what is what's gonna actually happen is going to pull all of our pull all of our posts in. Um if we actually choose where to start. We're going to choose all. So that way, what I want to do next is I want to populate this entire spreadsheet. Uh, oh, but what, what's going to happen going forward is when you create new post, a new line will be created. Okay. That's by default. That, that's what will happen by default. Okay. By default, it says the, the start is from now on. So every, whatever time interval you choose, if you say every 15 minutes, every, every day, every week, or, or whatever time interval you choose, um, it's going to pull post the most recent post. Okay. Excuse me. But in this particular case, I'm going to, um, Pull in all of the posts and I'll, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's, let's just do that. So, uh, choose where to start. I'm going to say all, and it's going to pull in all of my posts and, and put it on air table. Okay. And let's hit run once and let it run. So now it's going on my, it's going on my Instagram and it's pulling all on posts. You see all the posts that are downloading. And if we jump over back, if we jump back over to the air table, you'll see how everything is, uh, being populated. Oh, the last modified time is not correct, but we can fix that. Okay, cool. This is not a, a, a feel that's um, necessary. Actually, it is. So we'll, we'll change that. So actually, let's fix it right now. Let me, uh, uh, we got to stop this and let's see something is wrong here. So we will run it again. Let's do this. Let's go here and let's delete this. Okay. And the last modify time I messed up. So let's fix it here. Last modified by, oh, I will feel, oh, let's modify it by. I need last modified time. All right. So we'll save that. All right. Perfect. Unless we run it again. All right. My bad, my bad, my bad. So let's, let's do it again. Um, choose where to start. We got to select all, hit OK, and let's run it again. But this time it should be better. Cool. All right, so let's check it out again. All right, cool. That's what we want. All right, so last modified time is important. So it's not that it's not important. It is important. Um, because if anything is modified, then it will set triggers in our new, you know, um, second piece of this automation. Cool. All right, so I'm going to let that run. And while this runs, let's start working on our new, let's start working on our new um, automation. Let's see. All right. Cool. So let's name this. And we're going to name it 202. Cool. All right. So the next piece we need to do is we need to, again, start with Airtable. And what we want to do is we want to search for our records. So search, search for records. Okay. And the record that we want to search for um, is going to be pretty much everything in the table. So the base is going to be again, IG comment automation and the table is going to be table one. And what we want, we want to actually choose everything. So we want to pull in everything here. Okay. 
and we'll set the limit to like 10,000. That should be more than, that should be more than enough. And hit okay. And uh, let's see, we'll have to rename this. Let's rename this to um, search for post. Search for posts and go to emoji this time. All right. The eyes, it's looking. Okay. So let's save this and let's just run this once. And it's going to search and it's going to pull in a bunch of the different uh, things. So I have 299, 299 collections. That means it's 299 posts. And if we go back to the air table, let's see if it corresponds, which it should, 299. Okay, so it's 299, perfect. Cool, all right, so um, it pulled in all the posts. What we need to do next is we need to see which post has comments on there, right? So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a Instagram module that's going to um, list all of the comments. So let's go back into Instagram, uh, Instagram for business, and let's just do list, list media comments. That's what we need, okay, perfect. So what it's looking for is a media ID. Okay. So the media ID again is what we have in our air table. So we'll select media ID and we want to, let's say, let's say, um, 50. Okay. We'll leave it at 50 for now. All right. So one thing we need to do and, um, is we need to create a filter, um, because what's, what would happen is we, we don't want to pull in 50 and check 50 every time. Maybe we want to check, we want to check the last recent 24 hours, the last week of post to see what comments, because. A lot of times people may not necessarily comment on a post that's like your first post that you ever post and people's gonna comment on it. People most likely comment on um, posts that, you, that you've done recently. So like within the last week, 14 days, uh, people may post on those, um, people may comment on those posts. And it all, uh, obviously it all depends on how frequently you post on Instagram, but I think a week is safe, okay? So there's a formula that I found that I'm gonna take credit for it and I'm gonna show you exactly where I got that from. Because, because comments, I mean, it's not like comments, dates and, and, and maneuvering dates and, and kind of calculating dates on make is a little tricky. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to put a link to this video in the show notes and I'll leave a link somewhere in this video, uh, that gives credit to my, my guys over at TechFlow AI. Um, this video, he goes into detail exactly on how to, um, exactly on how to calculate dates. You can calculate it by days, calculate it by years seconds, milliseconds, he went down in detail on how you calculate it. So this formula I'm going to show you is actually the formula I stole from him. Okay. And again, I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes for this, but let me just copy and paste the formula and then I'll explain exactly what it means in a second. All right. Let's paste it here. Boom. All right. And instead of the media timestamp, we're just going to change that to our media timestamp, which is here. Boom. And we want to say less than or equal to, um, uh, we got to do seven days. That's good. All right. So. What it's doing, what the, what the formula is doing in a nutshell is it's calculating today's, say today's date from the date of the post. Okay, and it's calculating how many days was that. And we're saying anything that's below seven days ago or less than a week, we want to be able to check and see if those if those posts has any comments attached to it. Okay. All right. So that's what this formula is saying. So now is actually now the time that um, the, the, um, the module is checking uh, on this calculation. And then the media timestamp is, is a time when the actual post was made. And then it, it, it then formats it to month, date, and year, as we did earlier. And then it uses this formula, which calculates like 24 hours in a day, 24 hours in a day, 16 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute, and it goes down to milliseconds. And that's what this calculation is doing. And again, in the video I'm going to, I'm going to include, it's going to show exactly how you came up with the formula. If you want to do the, uh, the technicals, if you want to get into the science of it all, but, um, you'll, you'll, you'll have that as well. Okay. So, all right, cool. So. Um, what we can do is we can actually run this and see if anything, see what happens. All right, <laughs> so let's just run it. All right, so I'm gonna run it once and let's go. All right, so it's gonna look for any, any if, what it's doing right now is looking for all of my posts within the last seven days. So I had 16 posts within the last seven days, okay? And it's just checking right here for us. But so what it's doing right now, let's see, unless we name this, and let's get comments. And let's give it a, emoji real quick so we got to get we're getting all the comments so what this is doing right now is getting all the recent comments within the last seven days so i did seven i did 16 less comments post it's getting it's getting all of the posts within the last seven days okay good so instead of get comments this rename is to get post. get posts all right perfect all right so we got all the posts within, within the last um 
within the last uh seven days next thing what we need to do is we need to actually start we need to draft our our comment right so what i'm using is i'm using a module anthropic claude you can use open ai if you have an open ai account to do this as well but i like to whenever i'm communicating with someone in person or whenever i'm communicating with a person i always like to use claude because to me it's just a little bit more personal than um, open ai open ai to me is more robust when it comes to like doing heavy calculations and um, things like that um but yeah all right claude anthropic claude we are going to create a prompt we're going to use uh the max tokens a thousand it's good enough and the role is going to be user um, the type is going to be text and um, I'm just going to copy my prompt to make everything a little bit seamless for us here. Cool. All right. So um, what I wrote is I say uh, you're an expert Instagram comment reader. Your job is to analyze uh, the comments and reply with empathy and gratitude. Your response should be short, like an SMS a text message. Your response can contain one emoji. <laughs> Your response should be contextualized to the comment and on topic. If you don't understand the comment, it's okay to say that. I'll put the response only. And then this is the comment. The comment is pulled from um, the post. All right. So what we also need to do is um, we need to make sure that we haven't responded to any of the comments. So the best thing to do is to create a filter. All right. So this filter is actually checking for two things. Okay. Uh, we would have already responded. Oops. Already responded. The first condition is what we want to do is we want to check the reply thread, right? We want to make sure that nothing that we haven't responded or we haven't replied to any of the comments yet. So we need to make sure that it um, does not exist because if we sometimes we could be on our phone and we can respond to comments as well on our phone if we don't necessarily have to, if we don't if we you know are not using this automation, then um, we don't want to respond to the same post twice, okay? Or to respond to the same comment twice. Sorry about that. And the next thing we need to we need to check for is we need to check for if there's any other comments. So what we want to do is the total number of bundles. We want to make sure that is greater than um, it's greater than zero. So what I'm, I'm going to say that right now. So we want to make sure that there's actually a comment on that post. Okay. We want to make sure that the post actually has a comment under it. So the bundle is going to decide. It's going to it's it's going it's going to be what's under. Uh, let me show you right now. I'll make it easier for you. So like under these operations, you've seen bundles, right? So you see how it says zero bundles here, meaning that this particular this particular post didn't have any comments under it. It's no, it was no, it was no bundles under it. But if there was one with the bundle, I think uh, maybe this one may have it, or one of them did. This, hmm. Oh, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it manually. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So let's go here. Let's hit OK. And uh, let's see. Let's just rename this. And we're going to call it uh, Draft. Okay. Right. I like my little emojis. Okay. All right. Let's run this. Okay. Um, let's see, let's save first and let's run one to see what happens. Okay. So it's checking all of these posts and I had one. So I had one that had a comment, uh, excited that the, the, the comment was excited to see what Ron brings to the table in 2024. Oh, so the comment, let's see if we can find the actual one. See, all right. It was bundle number nine. So let's look at bundle number nine. So bundle number nine, it says run signings will dominate in 2024. So that was a comment, right? So it's actually, I did it right the first time. I'm, 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 I'm bugging. So get comments. There you go. Apologies. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to my now Instagram, and I'm going to respond to this financial growth, this financial growth um, post, and I'm going to make a comment on it. Okay, so I'm going to write. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see what it's discussing here. It's interesting to see. How um, financials can change suddenly. Interesting to see how financials can change suddenly. All right. So I just created that comment. What else? I deleted the comment. I'm not sure why it's the, the web version is not here, but you can see where I left the comment here. On if you look at the chat bubble. All right. So let's go back into our automation and let's run this again. 
and it actually let's respond to let's just let's let's add a reply to the post as well so what we're going to do is we want to go here and we want to add go back into uh, instagram and what we want to do is we want to create a comment create a comment and the comment is going to be the media id which is media id actually the media id is going to be right here is the comment id because we responded to the comment and the context is going to be the text response cool let's say okay and let's res re um, rename this to post comment reply actually comment reply good let's send an emoji and go 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 just about there okay and let's just run this again all right let's have a little technical difficulty technical difficulties with um instagram and showing you the actual res respond replies to the comments on the on the web interface for some reason but it's showing on my phone which is weird so anyway um what i changed in the scenario is i instead of um in the message id i just added the message id here and um you can see that it made responded to two comments that was from the last seven days from 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 comments i had on on posts and it just it responded to the both of the comments here the one says thank you for your predictions excited to see what 2024 brings and ron signings and the second one was a response to what i what i, what I posted it says uh, thanks for sharing your insights it's true financial markets can be quite volatile always good to stay informed so i hope that this video was good and that you were able to uh, take this automation and build it into your around your world and around your um um instagram profiles and response to your um people who communicate and uh with you on instagram if you like this video be sure to again share and like i also have um a community where i'll have both of these um, scenarios in the community where you, all you have to do is click on the more button click on import and the exact automation all the pieces to the automation all the pieces to all the modules and um everything will be as a blueprint that you can just upload um to your uh, make account so i'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed hope you found value here until next time all right peace